Okay, the bike is back in Texas. I have yet to touch anything on it. I've put it on the stand. I haven't wiped it. This is the exact condition I've received it in um, after, as you guys know probably, this thing spent a lot of time in the water, went down a 70 foot cliff just like I did. This thing looks like it's in remarkable shape. You can kind of see there's nothing really crazily bent. I mean, even the exhaust there. So yeah, there's certainly some scrapes, but yeah, even that pipe guard really looks to have done its job. Everything looks really good. Yeah, we've got some, some rust on some of these bolts, but on the surface, this thing looks really good. Um, yeah, we did um, have a clutch perch snap. Oh yes, thank you, Benny. Appreciate that, Benny. That is the break. <laughs> My 10-year-old uh, corrected me on that. And so, yeah, so that's just zip-tied there. It does look like, you know, gonna be needing some new uh, instrument cluster and uh, certainly a little bath here. And that's what's gonna happen next. So yeah, things are kind of twisted around a little bit. We're gonna take a real close look at it and we're gonna start the process to bring this thing back to life. So just amazing that this thing fell that far, stayed in the water that long, and um, to me it looks like it's gonna be starting up without too much trouble. We're gonna, in the next uh, day or so, we're gonna be draining fluids, uh, checking out everything in the motor, taking the exhaust off, of course, maybe even dropping the motor out of it just so we can work on, a, work on it on the bench here. Really make sure we got all the water out and and check the electrical connections, dry those out real good so we don't short out anything. So fingers crossed that this thing is uh, rolling soon. Stay along for the, the journey here. Cheers.